Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre of books. My name is Amelia, and from Locus Magazine, I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books. November is, of course, from the Latin word for ninth novum, meaning the ninth month, which it was until some other stuff happened and the year got expanded from 10 to 12 months. I was taught, by the way, that those guys Julius and Augustus added themselves into the calendar because the original 10 months of the calendar weren't stretching through the whole year, but that doesn't seem to be accurate as the names for July and August used to be Quintilus and Sextilus, according to my cursory research. At any rate, it is soup weather here in the Northern Hemisphere, and I hope you get to experience the joy of a pot of simmering soup and a cozy spot to sit and read a book of your choice. We are here to tell you all about the new ones that didn't exist last week, so you can add them to your to-be red pile if they speak to you. Starting with science fiction, we have six books. From Naomi Alderman, we have The Future, out from Simon & Schuster, in hardcover and ebook. This is a dystopian, near-future techno-thriller. Raised on an isolated compound in Oregon, Martha Einkorn lives in a world ruled by mega-rich tech companies. Jen is an internet-famous survivalist in Singapore, and the two of them are a little bit against this idea of a couple of billionaires ruining civilization. From David D. Levine, we have The Kuiper Belt Job, out from Kasich, SF, and Fantasy in trade paperback and ebook. This is a science fiction novel. Once upon a time in the solar system, there was a gang called the Cannibal Club, led by the man known as Strange. Max was the muscle, Damien the pilot, Alicia the thief, Ty the hacker, and Shweta the grifter. They would break into banks, hack computers, swindle the rich and powerful, run guns, whatever it took. Ten years later, Strange's son Case is trying to get the band back together in order to spring his father from captivity. From Mer Lafferty, we have Chaos Terminal, out from Ace in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an SF mystery novel, second in the Midsolar Murders series. Amateur detective Mallory Viridian is caught up in yet another murder case, with law enforcement and Mallory's childhood friends following Mallory from Earth to Station Eternity. From Tom Kratman, we have Dirty Water, out from Bane in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an SF time travel novel. While giving his grandchildren a tour of the Boston of his youth, and let's just Pause and digest that right there for a second, as I really like the idea of using a time machine to show your grandkids a world they will never quite understand. Sean Eisen stumbles upon a series of portals across Christmas times, which also connects to a dark alien magic feeding off suffering in 1462 Romania. From Leah Vernon, we have The Descent, out from 47 North, in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a dystopian revolution SF novel, second in a series set a thousand years in the future in an America where a black elite rules over a racially divided world. Avi Jor and her sister Jade vie for power in the wake of their father's death. From Jacob Hollow, we have The Dyson File, out from Bain in trade paperback and ebook. This is an SF novel, Gordian Division series, with Detective Isaac Cho and Special Agent Susan Cantrell on the case on Saturn. From Dave Hutchinson, we have Sanctuary, out from Solaris UK in trade paperback and ebook. This is a post apocalyptic SF novel, the third book in the Aftermath series, originally part of the Solaris Worlds Shared World series. Next up, horror, we have two titles. From Jennifer D. Lyle, we have Swarm, out from Sourcebooks Fire in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a horror novel. Anxiety prone teen Shure, with her brothers and their friends, barricade their home against a massive invasion of mutant killer butterflies. From Darcy Coates, we have Where He Can't Find You, out from Sourcebooks Fire in trade paperback and ebook. This is a young adult horror novel. In a haunted town where people disappear, only to be found dead, dismembered, and sewn back together, Abby Ward and her friends seek to save her sister from being the next victim of the Stitcher. Next up fantasy, we have 15 titles. From the lovely Cadwell Turnbull, we have We Are the Crisis, out from Blackstone Publishing in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a contemporary fantasy novel, the second in the Convergence saga, set three years after No Gods, No Monsters. Turmoil broils between pro-monster and anti-monster groups, both sides growing in numbers and militancy. While pro-monster legislation is on the horizon, monsters and their allies are still being disappeared. From Jonathan Evison, we have Again and Again, out from Dutton in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a historical fantasy novel. Jeno, bored in a nursing home, tries to connect with his nursing assistant, claiming he's had many past lives and is seeking his lost love from a thousand years past. 
From Kevin J. Anderson, we have Bats in the Belfry, out from Word Fire Press in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is the tenth book in the Zombie P.I. novels. A shambling horde of new cases hits Dan Shamble, Zombie P.I., in the unnatural quarter. Dan and his gang, including his ghost girlfriend, feisty lawyer partner, cop best friend, and little vampire half-daughter Alvina, are out to seek justice, solve mysteries, and keep their heads on straight. From Travis Baldry, we have Bookshops and Bone Dust, out from Tor in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, second in the Langens and Lattes series. After Viv is wounded during the hunt for a powerful necromancer, she's packed off to recuperate in the sleepy beach town of Merck, where she spends time at a bookshop. Then a suspicious traveler in grey, a gnome with a chip on her shoulder, a summer fling, and an improbable number of skeletons prove that Merck is not a sleepy town after all. From Nick Bantock we have The Corset and the Jellyfish, a conundrum of drabbles, out from Tachyon Publications in hardcover. This is an illustrated fantasy collection of 100-word stories weaving fantasy worlds and magical creatures. From Kevin Hearn we have A Curse of Krakens, out from Del Rey in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an epic fantasy novel. The final book in the Seven Kennings trilogy centering around an aspiring hero on a world-changing quest. A homebound warrior with the ability to speak to animals, in this case, the krakens beneath the waves, and a ship crew who discover the key to unlocking the mystery of the seventh kenning. From Matthew Ward, we have The Darkness Before Them, out from Orbit US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel. The thief Cat can speak to spirits and plans to use that talent to settle her family's debts, but then rebellion stirs as magical mists eat away at the kingdom of Kalad. Cat must use her powers solely for her own advantage or unite in struggle against the ruthless noble rulers and their uncaring immortal kind. From Susan Denard, we have The Hunting Moon, out from Tortine in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, second in the Luminaries series. Winnie Wednesday follows in her family's footsteps, hunting nightmares and following convoluted clues about the magic wrought on their town of Hemlock Falls four years ago. The questions lead her to Jay Friday, the only person who can help her, and Winnie questions where her loyalties might truly lie. From Christopher Paolini, we have Murtog, out from Knopf in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, a standalone set one year later in the world of the four book inheritance cycle. Exiled to the outskirts of society, dragon rider Murtog reconciles with his role in the evil king's reign of terror. Murtog and his dragon Thorn must use their brains and brawn to discover and outwit a wicked witch. From Alex Astor, we have Nightbane out from Amulet in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, second in the Light Lark series. In the wake of crushing betrayal, Isla is having fun instead of embracing her duties as newly crowned leader of two separate realms. From Freya Marsk, we have A Power Unbound out from Tor.com in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a queer fantasy novel set in an alternate Edwardian England, the third book in the last binding trilogy. Jack Alston is drawn back into the magical world he thought he left after the death of his twin sister, trying to keep the foundations of magic in Britain from being torn up by the roots. From Kalia Moreau, we have The Princess of Thornwood Drive, out from Forever in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel inspired in part by Trinidadian lore, about two sisters orphaned as teens by a car accident that killed their parents, leaving one paralyzed and nonverbal. As the older Lane seeks a return to normal, turning over the care of her younger sister to an adult day center, the younger Alyssa believes their parents, king and queen of the magical world of Mirandal, were kidnapped, leaving Alyssa cursed. From Kristen Britton, we have Spirit of the Wood, out from Daw in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy short novel set in the Green Rider series, looking at the backstory of Lauren Mapstone. When Lauren is wounded in an attack on the North Road by a gang of bandits, including some former Darrow riders with a vengeance on their minds, her new trainee Tavin Bankside must harness his empathetic gifts to help her recover, so that they might face an ancient power lurking within the Green Cloak. From Catherine J. Adams, we have Tonight I Burn. Nice title, out from Orbit US in trade paperback and ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the first in a trilogy. A thorn witch finds herself in the middle of a magical rebellion and a dangerous romance that could destroy her coven and her soul. Granted with the power to return from death after burning at the stake, Penny journeys across the Vale in search of her missing sister Ella, discovering a secretive lord, a captive prophet, and a rebellion brewing in the shadows beneath the city. 
From Danielle Page, we have Wish of the Wicked out from Bloomsbury, USA in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is a young adult dark fantasy novel about the origins of Cinderella's fairy godmother, part of the Fairy Godmother novels series. Since the day the new queen executed her entire family, the last in the long line of magical advisors to the 13 queendoms, Pharaoh has dreamed of revenge. The opportunity arises when a special ball is held to select a bride for the prince. In collections, we have one new book to talk about. From Jack Skillingstead, we have The Whole Mess and Other Stories, out from Fairwood Press in trade paperback and ebook. This is a collection of 18 stories, including The Writing Life, a self-reflection on memory, ambition, and imagination in the formation of one writer's journey. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us. At Locus, we set out to try to tell you about everything going on in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We want to keep track of all the books, because books are important. Locus Magazine and the Locus YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. You can read more about the science fiction, fantasy, and horror field over at www.locusmag.com or support us on our Patreon. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.